ago, when Rome was a global power, Caesar Augustus decreed that the whole empire should be taxed. Citizens of Gravesend, by the decree of Caesar Augustus, you all have to return to your home cities to be registered for taxation. Do not delay, or you will answer to the local governor. Shortly before this decree from the emperor, a young woman called Mary, soon to be married to a carpenter called Joseph, was visited by the angel Gabriel. You're going to have a baby called Jesus, and when he grows up, he'll be known as the Son of God. Now married, Joseph and Mary made the journey from Galilee to Joseph's ancestral town of Bethlehem. Mary was now heavily pregnant and close to giving birth. So many people were in Bethlehem to be registered for taxation that Joseph found it impossible to find anywhere suitable to stay and for Mary to have her child. They had tried everywhere, but there was no space and no sympathy. They were in a desperate situation until one innkeeper took pity and suggested they use the stable round the back. On the hills outside Bethlehem, shepherds were looking after their sheep, braving the cold night as they had done many times before. This night would be very different for them. Suddenly the sky lit up and an angel appeared. The shepherds were terrified. Then a whole group of angels appeared. Don't be afraid. I've got good news for you and everyone. A child has been born in Bethlehem who will be our saviour. You will find him in a stable laying in a manger. The shepherds rushed off to see if the message was true. A while after the visit to the shepherds, some kings on camels visited Herod in Jerusalem to ask about the new king who had been born. The kings had been following a star. Herod didn't know anything about it and was not happy to hear the news. He sent them on their way to find Jesus. They followed the star until it stopped where Jesus, Mary and Joseph were in Bethlehem. They got off their camels and gave presents of gold, frankincense and myrrh to Jesus. They didn't go back to Herod. So, in a poor stable in Bethlehem, the light of the world was born. He was visited by the poor and the rich, envied by the powerful, loved by his parents. He would grow up to show God's love to the world.